Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on how to solve equations with square roots. So we're going to solve these three problems together. And then on the next page, there's some problems you're going to try on your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right, so how do you solve an equation with square roots? Before we, we talk about that, let's kind of take a step back and talk about more basic equations. The ones you've probably seen before. So remember, when solving equations, the, the important rule is you always have to have the equation be balanced. So what you do to one side of the equation, you always have to do to the other side. So let's uh, draw a little balance beam here, a little scale, to remind us that what we do to one side of the equation, you always have to do to the other side. And that rule is going to continue even for uh, when we have squares here. So for this one, we have 5x plus 3 equals 28. So we're going to first subtract the constant from both sides. And that's going to give us 5x equals 25. And then the opposite of timesing is dividing. So we're going to divide both sides by 5. And we end up with x equals 5. So that one should seem hopefully easy for you. Uh, that's just a basic two-step equation. Now let's tackle a, a problem where it involves a square root. So here we have x squared plus 1 equals 50. So our goal is to get this, this an 1x by itself. But first let's, let's subtract 1 from both sides. Because when we do that, we're going to end up now with x squared equals 49. And the question is, what number times itself will equal 49? Well, that is going to be 7 or negative 7. But what you do to both sides to make this just a single x is you square root both sides. So the square root of x squared is going to be just an x. And then the square root of 49 is going to be plus 7 and also negative 7. So positive 7 and negative 7. And there's your answer. So to solve for x here, we had to square root both sides to get to change the x squared to an x. All right, let's try this one. I'm going to uh, first take away 4 from both sides. So that's going to give us a negative 5x squared equals 180. And then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5. And 180 divided by negative 5 is going to be negative 36. Now I'm going to square root both, both sides. And here we have an issue, a problem. Well, the square root of x squared is, is x. That's fine. But the square root of negative 36 actually doesn't exist because a negative times a negative will always give you a positive, And a positive times a positive will always give you a positive. So no matter what, we're not going to get a negative as an answer. So this one is called a no solution. So again, when you get an x squared equals a negative number, again, that's a negative 36, that's a sign that it's going to be a no solution. All right, so now that you understand how to solve equations with square roots, why don't you pause the video and try the problems on the next page. And when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say do with these practice problems. So the first problem, we have 6x squared minus 1 equals 149. So I'm going to first add 1 to both sides. And that gives us 6x squared equals 150. And then to get the x squared by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 6. So x squared is going to equal 25. And now here's the new step. To get the x by itself, I'm going to square root both sides. And I know the square root of 25 is uh, 5 and also negative 5. So x is going to equal both positive 5 and negative 5. And there's your answer. All right, let's try this one. Here we have x squared uh, divided by 3 equals 12. So first step, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. Because when I do that, these threes cancel out and the x squared is by itself. But again, we got to keep it balanced. we got to multiply both sides by that 3. So now we have x squared equals 36. And now we square root both sides. And the square root of x squared is x. And the square root of 36 is going to be 6 or negative 6. And there's our answer. All right. How'd you do?